Hi guys, welcome to the multi-award winning Emerald House of Cars. We're a totally unique family run business on a mission to be the best car dealership in the UK. Our commitment is to give you guys the best buying experience you've ever received, whether you plan on purchasing completely online using our free next day delivery service with seven day money back guarantee, or you're coming to the showroom to meet the team. We've made everything as easy and as transparent as possible so that you've got full confidence in choosing Emerald for your next car. A little later in the video, we'll show you how our vehicles are prepared before sale in our on-site RAC approved service center. But for now, sit back, relax, and enjoy the following video. Hello there guys, and welcome to this quick virtual walk around of the epic looking, I must say, black sapphire metallic BMW 218i M Sport Active Tourer. Congratulations to me for saying that all in one take without cocking it up. Now, what I will say about the 218i is that it's a fantastic car if you're looking for a sports family car that doesn't have to suffice good performance, nice interior, or great looks. What BMW have done with this mini MPV is they've starred it in a way only BMW can, and that is expertly. You've got the gorgeous shadow line package on there. You can see you've got loads of nice little bits so my job today is to show you around it in great detail and hopefully educate you a bit more on what could be your next car. So moving down, see you've got your BMW headlights just here. Front fog lights of course with front parking sensors. And you can see you've got the M Sport specific front bumper which gives it a bit more of an aggressive demeanour. Looks a lot more angry, you've got the headlights that obviously look like they're frowning. Really, really cool. You've got the chrome kidney grille surround with the gloss black vertical slats. A lot of people upgrade them and for me, I probably would do on this to go along with a black pack styling. Speaking of which, you can see you've got your 18 inch alloy wheels here, the five twin Y spoke alloys. And then of course, you've got your M badging on the wing. Flared side skirts, give it a bit more character. Semi flared arches, body colored door mirrors, body colored door handles, built in indicators. And on these, what's nice, you get a big, large windscreen and you get a glass A-pillar rather than it being cut off, so you get greater visibility just here. You can see as part of the shadow line, you have the D-crown window surround, gloss black B-pillars, slightly tinted privacy glass, and it gives it a better character overall. High-level lip spoiler, gloss black C-pillar, shark fin antenna, rear tinted privacy glass, but no rear wiper, and you can see you've got the iconic rear end almost the angled rear light, rear parking sensors, and of course here you've got your chrome exhaust with your ferric grey diffuser. Now with the two keys, you can of course open the boot, clicking the boot button down, leave it, and that lifts up the boot here. Of course this isn't the seven seater, that is the Grand Tourer, the Active Tourer is the five seater, meaning you get more room in the boot there without having any issue of seats being up. So still very, very spacious, but in there you get ample room to put pretty much anything you want. And if you're still struggling, you have got the further storage underneath as well, almost two boot floors. To shut it, click the button, stand back, and that will shut down automatically for you. And you can see from every different angle, that shadow line and the gloss black alloy wheels really do set this aside from any other two series that you've seen. I mean, for argument's sake, we have an Estrel Blue on there, but I'm sure you would say that one just looks that little bit better. And when you take into account the awesome combination of the interior it's got, you'd be hard pushed to find a better one. So without further ado, let's take a look. And now heading on inside, you're able to see exactly what I'm talking about. You have got no Harman Kardon in this one. You've got the business nav, but you've got the gorgeous oyster leather in there. Now in these, you don't just get the boring Dakota leather, you get Dakota leather with a twist. And of course you've got the Silverstone stitching and the perforation, which really does enhance how good this leather looks. It is of course manual seating. You have got electronic lumbar support just here. And then when you move around, what you can see here is you've got your M Sport door inlay, you've got your rubber pedals, and then on here you've got your hexagonal aluminium trim, you've got your oyster leather on the door card, and then you can see you've got deadlock, electric folding and adjustable mirrors, electric windows, and window lock as well. Down here you can see you've got remote boot release, and then we'll head into the back just to be a bit different, and you can see you've got loads of room for a family of any size, true comfort, full Isofix Bosher, 
perfect car for traveling with a family now getting inside it's really easy it's really comfortable and the nice thing about these you've got quite a high seating position without being in a big large SUV pillar you can see you haven't got hardly any restricted visibility big windscreen that allows you to see more of the beautiful picture here at emerald but of course allows you to drive safer really really good aluminium hexagonal trim goes all the way across along with the leather which is a really cool nice different quirky addition all the way over the center console with that contrast stitching as well now to turn it on it's quite simple there's a button here press it once let it illuminate, press your foot down, press it again, and you can see it pops up with no issues, no warning lights, aside from telling us we need to put a little bit more juice in here. Obviously it is unleaded petrol. Now what you've also got next to that is auto start stop on and off, meaning when you come to a stop, you can either have the car turn itself off for economy purposes, or you can leave it running. Me personally, I would leave it running, but that isn't gonna be my choice. Now what you can also do is change the display using the BC button just here on the digital information screen. This warning light of course is to do with the fuel just there. Now the dash itself what you can see is the black panel display so you do have on there the full black display with a white contrast needling as well. Now moving back from there, you're on the steering wheel, beautifully soft Nappa leather, really, really nice. It's sculpted as well for comfort. You can see it's black on black, same as the exterior. And you've also here, of course, got the gorgeous M logo, concave base, satin chrome with a black on there as well. On the back of the wheel, you have, of course, got your high beam lighting and indicators, no high beam assist, and you've got your auto wipers as well. Moving down from there, you can see just in the alcove here, you have got your auto headlight settings, fog lights, instrument cluster lighting and headlight range control. And under here, you've got further storage ideal for valuables that can't be seen from the outside. And then we move across, we're now on the business nav, which is the standard nav system. You can see you've got many different options. That is of course controlled by the iDrive, which is encompassed in this gorgeous piano gloss black with the oyster leather. Now I'm just gonna open a couple of windows because it's very, very hot today. And I've gotta be honest, I am sweating like a madman. Now what we'll do, we'll go through all the different media options here. You can see in terms of multimedia, you've got CD, external devices which is usb and auxiliary and of course your sound options as well you've got your radio which on here of course you've got fm am and dab of which anybody is only ever going to want dab we've got bluetooth telephone of which you can of course connect and talk on the move and you've got navigation which brings up the nice little old school high contrast high resolution display just here obviously the pro nav would be the bigger screen with a bigger display but make no mistakes you don't need it this is just as good to use and just as simple and what you can also do on there of course if you go back you go on contacts you can have all your contacts synced from your bluetooth device bmw connected drive you need to speak to bmw just to confirm your subscription is active usually it lasts for three years from date of manufacture you also got vehicle information now on this the most important menu is vehicle status scroll on to service requirements and you go on service history you can see you've got 2021 20 19 18 and 17 as well now don't forget we will have done a service on this in 2022 just as part of our prep so that is a full service history how about that what you can also get on there of course is you can go on efficient dynamics for those of you that are more interested and involved in how the car works and its inner workings this is a great option you can see on here you've got the efficient dynamics info you've got your driving style analysis on there as well if you go down you've got the owner's handbook the onboard computer which of course gives you your breakdown trip computer and now you've got sports display so on there you can see nice digital format of power and torque and you can see when you rev the car it matches and stops to see if you can beat your previous best really really cool and on there you can obviously change all the different options as well and that pretty much sums up everything that you could do on here i mean you can go into different settings as well change your ambient lighting brightness from sport or classic it's not all around the cabin but it is nice you've got your home lights you've got eco pro mode parking collision warning tailgate it's really really in depth but i do want you to find out for yourself how much fun it can be 
And then we move down, you can see you've got here your collision warning, so you can see on there you've turned it on. You've also got your hazard lights, fans, piano gloss black inlay with your old school touch system, of course, for your media. CD player on there as well. You've got storage ideal here for a phone or keys. And then we come down away from the gearbox just here, you can see you've got your aircon now what you can do on this of course is do max heated front screen rear screen auto aircon you can turn the temperature up using this now you can see it is dual zone meaning i can have alternate temperatures on different sides of the cabin to change temperature i use the dart on the left or right i can put heated seats on for both the front driver and front passenger i can change the air force using the button for the fan just here and I can change the air distribution and where it's portrayed into the cabin using this button just here. I can sync the temperatures to the driver's temperature using that button, auto or manual recirculation, and I can turn the aircon off and just have the heating if I wish. Under there, I've got, of course, parking sensors just on here, the audible parking. Once that comes on, you get your front and rear PDC apply. You've also, of course, got your traction control, and here you've got your drive select mode. Of course, you've got Eco Pro, Comfort, and sport sport of course giving you upright throttle response better rev ratio and an all-round better performing two series electronic parking brake to disengage foot on the brake press it down you'll hear it you put it on press it up and you can hear it locking media control system and now we come to the main piece the obvious automatic gearbox now on this it's finished in the satin black here satin chrome leather gear gator and a real comfortable shifter as well now to use it there's a button at the back press it down if you hit reverse you'll know because your pdc will come on and of course you've got r just here in the center console put it into drive you can see it changes to d and it illuminates on the dash now what you can do a mode that many people don't know is you can do this now it's not broken that is now in S mode, which is sport, meaning you get a better all-round performing car and a bit longer between shifts because it's giving you the maximum output it can. But if you get your gearbox and you do this, you'll see you can scroll through all of the gears on the two series using that as well. This is a nice addition. It's really engaging and really immersive for drivers who like the feel of really understanding what the car's doing. So you imagine you're driving at speed, 4,000, 5,000 revs, you change up the gear, you change up, you change up. You want to change down, you push it. It's literally fingertip control. And aside from that, you've of course got your dual cup holders, extra charger, lift up the armrest, you've got auxiliary, USB and further storage. And then in here, you can see you've got a more storage on the lift up armrest as well. I mean, this car is fantastic, not even just for families. I think sometimes the two series gets misrepresented that it's only for those with quite a lot of kids or those who have got large families. And that's not the case. You could easily have this as a daily if you were a businessman and you just needed extra room for luggage. I mean, it's great looking, it's great spec, and of course, you've got great reassurance. You won't need any maintenance for the foreseeable future. Now, that is obviously because it's passed the 128 point check here in our on site RAC approved facility. And what that means is that it's gone through its paces both cosmetically and mechanically, of which you can see all the questions we asked of this and how it performed on the vehicle advert under vehicle inspection sheet. We have also given it an oil and filter service, as we do with every car here, to make sure there's no confusion or cross-contamination on any products that have been used. And if you're looking at taking this out on finance, cash, or even if you just want to come down and part exchange, don't forget, we were awarded the Used Car Retailer of the Year Award for 2021, and we are known as probably the best car dealership in the UK. Now, the reason for that is for that sign up there. We do indeed make car buying fun. If you do wish to check us out on Facebook, Insta, at Emerald House of Cars, and see what we're all about. But back to the car, finance options, as used car retailer of the years, I've said, we can offer you great packages from as little as 7.9% APR with many of the market leading finance partners that we work closely with every single day. For me, I'm about to sign off and I just want to say thank you for watching the video. Hope you feel educated, entertained, and of course, you want to come and meet the team here. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. One of the most important factors when buying a used vehicle is figuring out who to trust. 
Buying a car is a massive financial commitment and you need to be 100% confident in the company that you choose. We have over a thousand five-star reviews on Google, Facebook and Autotrader, hundreds of video testimonials and the jewel in the crown are the multitude of awards we've won over the past number of years, including UK Independent Dealer of the Year, Independent Community Dealer of the Year and most recently, Used Car Retailer of the Year. Integrity and transparency are really important to us at Emerald in how we conduct our business. We're the only dealership with a multi-award winning weekly YouTube show, which pulls back the curtain and lets you see the inner workings of how a car dealership operates. We cover all aspects of the day-to-day -day running from buying, selling, sourcing, after sales, and of course, everything that goes on over at our RAC approved workshop. Every one of our car undergo the 128 point vehicle inspection by our team of experienced technicians. Any item that aren't up to our approved standards, we rectify and replace parts needed with manufactured approved parts. We also service every car and put a fresh MOT on ready for its next owner. When we are happy the car is in A1 mechanical condition, over it goes to our body shop for paint correction or wheel refurbishment, then finally onto our detailing team. Essentially, we want to ensure that when the car reaches this new owner, it's at its very best. For the road ahead, we've got you covered with a comprehensive 90-day warranty, which can be extended for one, two or three years, depending on your preference. We are proud to be partnered with the market-leading warranty providers that match up to our own high standards, providing customers with genuine support when they need it. We've also got you protected for all unfortunate circumstances, such as having your car written off or stolen throughout your time holding the vehicle. We're really pleased to be able to offer a great RAC gap and return to invoice insurance product, keeping you safe long after you've left our showroom. If you were local to us and want us to take away the headache of keeping your car well maintained, our service plans could be just the ticket for you. Payable monthly and carried out in our fully equipped RAC approved garage, every service comes complete with a free health check to keep you and your vehicle safe and secure on the journey ahead and also protect the future value of your car by maintaining that all important service history. And when it comes to protecting your car's interior and exterior against stains, scuffs, contaminants, all of our encompassing Gardex paint and fabric protection ensure the aesthetic appearance of your new vehicle remained unaltered and improved to an almost better than new finish. It's a great opportunity to protect against the best and worst that Mother Nature has to offer. And last but not least, if you do need to take out finance for your new vehicle, we have a panel of over 35 lenders, including Santander, with rates as low as 7.9% APR, always guaranteeing you the lowest possible interest rate. For a fee finance check, which won't affect your credit rating, click the finance tab on our website to fill out a two minute application that lets you know beforehand what your monthly payments are likely to be. We've got loads of PCP, HP, and lease options available, depending on your personal preference and budget. So if you want to speak to me or my team of finance experts for any help and advice, please don't hesitate to pick up the phone. We're here to help. Our goal at Emerald is not just to sell cars, it's about creating lasting relationships and customers for life. But don't just take our word for it. Here's what some of our customers had to say about their very own Emerald experience. And how would you rate us out of 10? 10 being probably the best car dealership in the UK. Definitely 10. Oh, I'd definitely say 10. I'm gonna say 10. 10. 10, obviously. 10. 10, I suppose. <laughs> Definitely a 10. I would give you a 10. Ah, uh, it's got to be a 10. I'd give you a 10. Well, it's obviously a 10, isn't it? Obviously a 10. Mate, right, more than 10. Can I say 11? Straight million. <laughs> Straight, Straight million. Why more than 10? I would say 10. Oh, I'd go as far as saying 11. Definitely a 10. 10, yeah. A 10? I can say 10. In the 11. UK. Well, it's got to be a 10. Definitely a 10. If I could give you more than a 10, I definitely would. <laughs> I'd definitely say a 10. 10. I'd give you a 10. I'd give it a solid 10. I would say 10. 10 out of 10. I'll give you a 10. That sounds good. Give it a 10. 10. But I'll give you a 10 out of 10. It's got to be a 10. <laughs> I'll give you a 10. But I would rate you a 10. So 10 out of 10. 100%. It's got to be 10 out of 10, oh, right? That's an easy one, isn't it? It's 11. 11 out of 10. I'll give you 10. Perfect. Because I came back, didn't I? <laughs> and Perfect. I'll be back again. <laughs>